Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is add new leads from Elementor form in Lead Square CRM. Now suppose guys you have created a form using Elementor and you have added that form in you to your website or shared that very same form with your users. Now you want that whenever a user fills that form and submit it, you want to add that very same user into your CRM application which is Lead Square. Now the manual process of getting the form submission data of user from Elementor and adding that very same person into your CRM application like Lead Square can be very much repetitive and time consuming for you. So in this video, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever we will receive a new form submission in Elementor, automatically the very same user will be added as a new lead in our Lead Square CRM. Interesting, right? Now here you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-P-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just 2 minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I'll name my workflow as Elementor to lead square. So now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the Elementor form submission data, form submission response from Elementor to Pavli Connect. Then after that, you, using Pavli Connect, we will send that very same data to Lead Square so that we can add that very same user who has submitted to the form as a new lead in our Lead Square CRM. So here in trigger window, in choose app, search for Elementor. Elementor it is. Then after that, in trigger event, select new form submission. After selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we will connect the form which we have created using Elementor and Pavli Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here. And after that, we have to go to the form which we have created using Elementor. So this is the form and I have opened this form using edit with Elementor. So I have opened this form in edit mode. After opening it, just hover on this form which you have created using Elementor and on the right top corner, you can see a edit button, a pen like icon over here. Just select it. And after that, on the left side, we can see some kind of form fields, some uh, edit fields for this form, where which is an option named as actions after submit. Select this and after that in add action after submit, here we have to search for webhooks. So we'll search for webhooks. This is webhooks. After selecting webhooks, we can see that a new option pop up in this list, which is named as webhook. Select this and here it is asking us for the webhook URL. Now here we have to paste the very same webhook URL, which we have copied from Pavli Connect. So paste the very same webhook URL. And after that, on the bottom corner, you can you just have to click on update. And after clicking on update, we can see that we have successfully connected our element of form with Pavli Connect. Now, every time a user will submit this form, the response of this form submission will be automatically captured inside Pavli Connect as well. Now, we have to do the same. Just click on this preview changes button on the left side of update button and we will see that our form will open up in preview mode. And here in this form, we have to make a test submission, a dummy submission, so that we can collect the get the response of this form submission inside Pavli Connect. So let's do this. I'll enter a test user's name, for example, dummy test dummy test this is the name of the person let's enter the email address as well tutorial demo at the rate faptitudes.com and a phone number too so after entering the details of a test user or dummy user over here 
just click on send. And now we can see that a form is successfully submitted. After making a form submission, now because we have connected our form and which we have created using Elementor to Pabli Connect, now the details or the data of this very same form submission which we have just now made will be also be captured inside Pabli Connect. So let's just get back to Pabli Connect. And yes guys, here in trigger window in our workflow, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this is the response of that very same form which we have created. We have the very same first name, same last name, same email and same phone number as well which we have entered in the form while making the submission. So step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have successfully connected Elementor to Pabli Connect and received the form submission data from Elementor inside Pabli Connect. Now after that, we have to send this very same data to LeadSquare to add this very same user as a new lead in our LeadSquare account. For that, we'll just scroll down and come to our action window. And here in Choose app, we will search for LeadSquare. Lead squared it is. After that in action event it is we have to select create or update lead. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now we have to connect our lead squared account with Pavli connect. And to make this connection we have to get the access key, secret key and API host of our lead square account. Now here you must be thinking where you are going to find all these details. So to get this just go to the dashboard of your lead square account. And on the right top corner, you can see the profiles option over here. Just hover on it and click on settings. After clicking on settings, on the left side, we can see several options out of which there is an option named as API and webhooks. Click on API and webhooks and then select API key access. So after that, we can see we have the access key of our lead square account. By clicking on show secret key, you can also get the secret key and we also have the API host. So just copy the API access key from here, go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. Then go back to Lead Square, click on this show secret key button, copy the secret key as well and go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. Then after this, we have to enter the API host. So we'll just copy the API host from here, copy it and paste it in Pavli Connect. And after entering all these details from our Lead Square account, just click on save. And now we can see that our lead squared account is now successfully connected with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, it is asking us some details of the lead which we want to create in our lead square account, like first name, last name, email, phone number, address, and other details. So we have received some of these details from Elementor form submission when the user entered their details and submitted the form. And we have received the form submission response in uh, form submission data in our trigger window response. So here we have the first name, last name, email, and phone number. So we will basically map this very same details, very same form submission data over here in this field. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field of first name and in the drop down below, we will see all the responses which we have received from Elementor. And out of all these responses, select the response of first name over here. Then click on this field of last name, follow the same process of mapping and this time map the last name in this field. So we will follow the same process for email of mapping as well as phone number two. So this is the phone number. So basically we have mapped all the details which we have received from our element of form submission response in public connect over here. After mapping all these details, just scroll down and click on save and send test request. And after clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, basically the very same data which we have received from Elementor form submission, the user who has submitted the form, we have created a new lead in our lead square account using that very same form submission data. So now let's just check it. We'll get back to a lead square account. On the top side, on the top bar, we can see an option named as leads. Just hover on leads and click on manage leads. And yes, guys, here we can see that dummy test, the very same first name and last name, which we have entered while submitting the form in our element of form submission, the very same person is now successfully added as a new lead in our lead square account. So we have the very first name, very same first name, last name and email as well. So now guys, we saw that the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. We have successfully created this automation. Now after setting up this automation, we have to basically test this automation in real time once. 
for that we will get back to the form which we have created using elementor and we will make a new submission over here so for example i'll enter a name as demo name let's enter a email and mobile number 2 And after entering all these details of a new dummy user, just click on send. And the form is submitted successfully. Now, after making the form submission, we will directly go to lead square and see whether this very same user whose details we have entered while making the form submission is now added as a new lead in lead square or not. So let's get back to lead square, refresh this page once. And yes, guys, demo name and with very same email address is now successfully added as a new lead in our lead square account, which means guys, the automation, which you have created in this video, we have tested this automation in real time and it is working perfectly fine. Now, every time I receive a new form submission in my Elementor form, using that very same form submission details, we can create that person. We can add that person as a new lead in your lead square account instantly automatically. So let's get back to Pavli Connect once and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation. So first we have created a workflow over here and in this workflow in trigger window we have selected Elementor and new form submission was our trigger event. Then using a webhook URL we have connected our Elementor form with Pavli Connect so that we can get the Elementor form submission data inside Pavli Connect. And we did the same. We made a test form submission and received the data. After that, from Pavli Connect, we have sent that very same form submission data to Lead Square so that we can create a new lead over there. So not just these applications, guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this very same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free.